Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the T-Mobile G2X. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our How to Flash a Custom Recovery Image procedure and the preceding routing procedure, of course. So, if you haven't, click on that link there to be taken to that procedure. Do that one and then come back to this one. Uh, when okay, you're done. so the first thing you need to do is decide what ROM you want to flash. So, we're going to click on our ROM section there. It's going to present you with a list of all the phones we have ROMs for. Scroll down until you find your phone. Click on the link there. You'll be presented with all of the ROMs that we have for that device currently. At the moment, there's only one, uh, but I'm sure that'll change soon. But since I'm going to flash this one, I'm going to click on that. Give me the ROM page where I can see ratings, etc. Click on the download link to be taken to the actual developer's page. And click here to download the ROM. And wait for that to download. Okay, so then you're going to plug in your G2X and you're going to mount the storage. Um, and plug it in via USB. Now, what's going to happen is because the G2X has a micro SD card slot and internal storage, they both might pop up on your computer as two separate drives. Remember that in order to use Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, at least this version, you have to have whatever you want to use on the actual micro SD card, not on the internal storage. So you'll see here on my computer, I have G, which is the micro SD, and No Name, which is the actual internal storage. So what we're going to do is we're going to open G. Uh, for you, that would probably be removable disk, or you just have to try to figure out which one's which if you're using uh, uh, Windows, for example. And then we're going to take the ROM, leave it as a .zip file, and we're going to pull it and copy it onto our micro SD card, not inside any folders, just on the SD card itself, and wait for that to transfer. Now you may also notice that I have another .zip file on there that I've put on there. That is the Google Apps for this ROM that I'm using. It doesn't have the apps included. It's a Cyanogen ROM, so the apps have to be flashed separately. Um, normally with most ROMs, you're not going to have to do that. It's just going to be one zip file. For this one, it's two. So just keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to turn off our device now. And then we're going to turn it on by holding the volume down and power at the same time. And keep holding it. So you see a little Android word come up, then let go. Now we're in recovery mode. We're going to scroll down to backup and restore, then hit backup and wait for the device to back up the current ROM. Okay, once it says backup complete, now we can go to wipe data factory reset. Yes, wait for it to do that. Okay, and then we're going to go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and you'll see the uh, .zip file for the ROM that we put on the SD card, so we're going to click on that, and click yes, and wait for that to install. Okay, and once it says install from SD card complete, we can go down to the bottom, hit go back, and then hit reboot system now, and wait for the phone to reboot. Now if you did do a Cyanogen mod ROM, then you did need to also click uh, uh, install SD, or install update from SD card, and select the Google Apps package, otherwise you just select the one initial .zip file and that's it. Then hit reboot system now, and we wait for it to reboot. Okay, and then once the phone boots up, you're running on your new custom ROM. 
Uh, if you want to change ROMs for whatever reason, just redo this part of the procedure, find a new ROM, put it on the SD card, boot into recovery and flash it. Uh, remember to wipe before you flash a ROM. Uh, and that's it, you can do that as many times as you want until you find a ROM that suits your liking. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.